हेलो स्टूडेंट्स द टॉपिक नेम इज मूविंग चार्ज एंड मैग्नेटिज्म इन मूविंग चार्ज एंड मैग्नेटिज्म हियर फर्स्ट आई विल डिस्कस द सिनॉप्सिस ऑफ मूविंग चार्ज एंड मैग्नेटिज्म एंड लेटर आई विल सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स ओके अंडरस्टैंड कि इन सिनॉप्सिस व्हाट इज मीन बाय बायोसावर्स लॉ राइट व्हाट इज बायोसावर्स लॉ इन बायोसावर्स लॉ स्टेट्स दैट अ लॉन्ग स्ट्रेट कंडक्टर अ लॉन्ग स्ट्रेट कंडक्टर कैरीज अ करंट carries a current on is yes. then start producing a magnetic field is yes. it start producing magnetic field on its surrounding okay now here we can get an end equation that is line integral of db equals to mu not i divided by 4 pi line integral of dl sin eta divided by r square yes this is our formula just to remember what is the magnetic field okay now Where mu naught, where mu naught is absolute permittivity. What is the mu naught? Uh, mu naught is absolute permittivity and absolute permittivity of air or vacuum. Of air or vacuum. That is 4 pi into 10 to the minus 7 vapor per ampere uh, vapor per meter square. That is vapor per ampere meter and Other unit is Henry meter. Other unit is Henry meter. Okay. Application of biosolids. What are the applications we are studying here, students? Some of the applications here we are studying that is uh, B equals to B B equals to mu naught divided by four pi. Mu naught divided by four pi. Two pi n i r. Two pi n i r square divided by x square plus r square whole raised to three by. Okay. We study the concept of current carrying a circular loop. In the current carrying circular loop, what will happens when current flows through it? Then it start producing the magnetic field. Yes, that is here. There is the end equation. B equals to B equals to mu naught divided by four pi. Mu naught divided by four pi and two pi n i r square divided by x square plus r square whole raised to three by. That is the end equation. You remember, okay? Then n is number of points. Now here some of the points that is where the magnetic field is present at the center. Magnetic field is present at the center and along the axis. When the magnetic field is present at the center, here this equation will take. Then if x is very very greater than r, x is very very greater than r, then what we can do? The r is neglected. R is neglected. When r is neglected, what we can get? Just here we are getting mu naught divided by 4 pi 2 pi n i r square divided by x square raised to x x square raised to 3 by 2, but x square and x square will cancel here x cube. Okay, that is at the center. Say here I will take the ratios of that two, the ratio of magnetic field at the center and magnetic field along the axis. What is the math? That is formula. The magnetic field at center and along the axis equals to 1 plus 1 plus x square divided by r square. x square divided by r square whole raised to 3 by 2 whole raised to 3 by 2 okay same one and the other one that is concentric circular loop that is magnetic field at concentric circular loop first one these formulas are most important these formulas most important to study the ct okay now here at the center current flows current flows in anti clockwise direction current flows in anti clockwise direction that time B equals B one equals to B one equals to mu naught divided by four pi mu naught divided by four pi two pi r into two pi r into one by r one plus one by r yes okay now yeah, another one when current flows in a clockwise direction the current flows in clockwise direction just only thing changes here the sign convention only thing changes here sign convention that is B B two equals to or B equals to mu naught divided by four pi two pi r into one divided by r one minus one divided by r. Yes, this is the two formulas. Remember. Okay, next one. Ampere's law. What are Ampere's law states? The Ampere's law states. Okay. That is the line integral of the line integral of magnetic field. Okay, the line integral of magnetic field. Is equals to is equals to mu naught times current. Then line integral of 
magnetic field equals to mu naught times current. Okay, that we are writing here. This is cap. Okay, B D L equals to mu naught I. Yes, here we take and not only one current here. If number of currents are there, that is I one plus I two plus dot dot up to I uh, I one I two up to I. Yes. Next one. That is magnetic field due to cylindrical wire. What is the magnetic field due to cylindrical wire? The B surface equals to, surface equals to mu naught I divided by two pi r. Mu naught I divided by two pi r. Now, magnetic field due to infinite sheet carrying the current. Here, magnetic field due to infinite sheet carrying the current. That is nothing but here solenoid. What is solenoid? The solenoid is a instrument to produce the soft iron core. Only with the number of turns, it produces magnetic field. It is known as what we call it is solenoid. Okay. Same here we take in terms of sheet. What is the? That is equation. Line integral of B dot D L equals to B dot D L equals to mu naught times R. But here they divide it in a different length. That is A B B C C D and D D A. Okay. Different length they take up. From different length we can get a magnetic field. Yes. Okay. Solenoid. This formula B equals to mu naught B equals to mu naught n I. Yes. Remember the formula. This is this formula important. Okay. Next, motion of charge particle. Motion of charge particle in a uniform magnetic field. What is the motion of charge particle in uniform magnetic field? The students can all consider. Uniform magnetic field are considered. It is uniform magnetic field. Okay. If charge particle is present, it moves. This is circular part. Then there are other things we experience. We will experience velocity as well as centripetal force. Yes. Okay. Now, not only centripetal force, then it also experiences magnetic force. That is the magnetic force is F equals to F equals to Q V B Q V B sine theta. When the charge particle places inside the charge particle is inside the uniform magnetic field. That is. F equals to Q V B sine theta. Then there are another some other concept. That is a circular motion of charge particle in magnetic field. Remember the radius of path is the radius of path is R equals to R equals to M V divided by M V divided by Q V. Okay, now here what is mean by R? What is mean by R? That is R is radius. M is mass of electron and V is velocity. V is Velocity. Okay. This equation we can modify by modifying this equation. R equals to momentum divided by charge into magnetic field. Another one we can uh, modify in terms of uh, kinetic energy. Okay, that is root of two m k divided by q b, or that is one by b equals to root of two b two m v divided by q. Two m v divided by q. Okay. Now time period, time period equals to that is t equals to two pi m divided by two pi m divided by q b. Two pi m divided by q b. Remember, okay? Then most motion of charge particle it travels in helical. When it travels in helical, when electric and magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other, perpendicular to each other, then it travels in the form of a helix. It travels in the form of helix. That time the path is that time the path is R equals to m v sine theta divided by q b m v sine theta divided by q b. Next, Lorentz force. What is the Lorentz force? The Lorentz force states that here the force between the force between the magnetic force, sum of force, magnetic and electric force, electric force is known as is known as what we call it is a Lorentz force. The Lorentz force, sum of magnetic and electric force, is known as Lorentz force. Yes. Okay. Here we can calculate. That is uh, velocity selector. What is the velocity selector? The velocity selector here. Q B equals to Q B equals to Q E. Here Q and Q get cancelled. Velocity equals to E divided by B. Velocity equals to 
e divided by clear okay i hope you clear everyone cyclotron what is cyclotron cyclotron is a device cyclotron is a device used to accelerate used to accelerate the charged particles is known as what we call it is a cyclotron but here the kinetic maximum kinetic energy of cyclotron is maximum kinetic energy of cyclotron is e max equals to q square b square q square b square divided by 2m into r square this is this formula q max equals to maximum kinetic energy q square b square r square divided by 2m yes i hope you clear i hope you clear what is the maximum kinetic energy okay now here the force between two long parallel straight conductor force between two long straight parallel conductor okay now here are concerned two long parallel straight conductor this is one and this is when current flows along the same direction current flows along the same direction these two conductors these two conductors will repel each other yes no these two conductor will attract each other when current flows in opposite direction current flows in opposite direction this will repel each other yes remember this point Okay now, what is the force between them? The force equals to mu naught divided by four pi. Mu naught divided by four pi into two i one i two to i one i two divided by e into length. Okay. Here we can take this length. That is f divided by l equals to mu naught divided by four pi to i one i two divided by E. Yes, this is nothing but force per unit length. What is that? Force per unit length. In the force per unit length here we can state what is V by one ampere. That is nothing but a current flows in two long straight conductor carries a current. Okay, two long straight conductor separated by a force of two into ten raised to minus nine. Then Newton. Then That is known as what we call it is one ampere. Now here, behavior of current loop in a magnetic field. As yes, what is the behavior of magnetic field in a current loop? Tau equals to L B R E. Tau equals to L B R E sine theta. Remember this. Tau equals to L B I sine theta. Next, moving coil galvanometer. What is the galvanometer? Galvanometer is a device. Galvanometer is a device to detect small amount of current and voltage. What it can detect? It detect a small amount of voltage and current is known as what we call it is a galvanometer. Yes, in the moving coil galvanometer, in the moving coil galvanometer, current I equals to current I equals to C divided by C divided by L B I. This is formula you know that. That is. Theta equals to theta k equals to yes L B A L B A sine theta yes now what is the I I is the number so now current sensitivity and voltage sensitivity what is the end of current sensitivity formula current sensitivity is L B A divided by C and voltage sensitivity is L B A divided by R C okay these two formulas you remember okay here students I finish the synopsis of Moving charge and magnetism. Moving charge and magnetism. From this moving charge and magnetism, again, we'll solve the problems. Again, we'll solve the problems in the next part of the video. Okay. Thank you.